Good morning, everybody. Sorry about the delay for our, our Wednesday meeting. It's just been a real hectic week. We finally just got time to get together and do our, our Facebook Live. Sitting to my left of me is John Morgan. He's your national lead negotiator. Before I uh, let him get in and have a couple of words, I want to make a couple of things. You know, going through these negotiations, a couple of the big issues have been attendance and also have been a thing with what they call transformation costs. Now, I'm sure that they're trying to explain it to you at the plant level, but understand, the transformation cost, in my opinion, is nothing more than what we're willing to do as a union or get to the company so they can be more profitable. The question I have for the company, and I have had, and I'm going to have some more conversation on it, what is the company willing to do for us? A lot of the problems we have are self-induced by the company. Your attendance procedure. The attendance is bad, in my opinion, because A, they the first thing they did is they... Uh, they eliminated or they pushed the fact that you had to work two Saturdays in a row scheduled. That's not what the language says. What the language says is you work two consecutive Saturdays. We had to correct that. B, the next thing they did is they eliminated the call in PAA days and they decided to make them counters, which is a contractual issue as well. C, they put the plants on critical plant status. On top of that, they expect you to work seven days a week, 360 days out of the year. They, they are self-inducing a lot of these problems. So until they get, they're willing to come to the pump and try to help clean up some of this stuff on their side, you can't even keep a supervisor in the plant for more than six months because of the way they treat these supervisors from the top down, from the Europeans to us. My opinion is, is this is a money grab and we gotta be very careful what we do because it may be a money grab and they might take the money and spin us off one more time again. Let's ask the question, Traverse, what's your loyalty to this, this country? Well, how many products have you put in this country? How much capital investment have you put in these plants? What have you done to make show that you're loyal to us and yet you expect us to be loyal to you? You keep globe trotting, don't want to take the time out to speak to this membership or give them a future. So all I can say to you is tick tock, tick tock. John, you got something to say? Yeah, I wanted to touch on uh, the subcommittees really quick. So each one of us, the 13 negotiators that we have, we have uh, bargaining in each subcommittee uh, for various parts of the contract. So in all of our subcommittees, we're doing bargaining. We're doing bargaining very tough. We're sticking to the demands that the members are asking for, and we're reaching deep down to get the results that you guys deserve. Uh, it's a difficult process, but we're gonna continue to fight. And as a lead, I'm gonna make sure that we push, push, push until that TikTok happens. One last thing, John. Sunday, this Sunday coming up, there's going to be a rally at Region 1 where we're all going to get together and we're going to have some conversation. It starts at 3 o'clock. We're going to have some conversation and you're going to have some speakers to, to talk about solidarity, solidarity within the ranks and why we're not asking for anything we don't deserve. You have a great weekend and hope to see you there.